A new international air filtration standard, ISO 16890, will shortly replace the current valid EN 779. This will mean a radical change in the way air filters are evaluated. Today, we are speaking with Dr. Thomas Caesar, Global Director of Filter Engineering at Freudenberg Filtration Technologies, about what end users of air filters need to know about the upcoming changes. Dr. Caesar, you've been actively involved in the development of the new standard on behalf of Freudenberg Filtration Technologies. What stands behind the introduction of this new standard? We wanted uh, to enable the customers to select filters in the future in a more targeted manner which is not really possible with the current EN 779, which gives the results which are quite far away from the real-life uh, performance of an air filter. With the new ISO standard, we will be much closer to reality and we will enable the user to evaluate air filters according to their efficiency to the fine dust fractions PM10, PM2.5 and PM1. So could you please briefly describe this in a bit more detail? The current EN779 standard uh, evaluates the performance of an air filter uh, as an average over uh, dust loading with a synthetic laboratory dust, so-called ASHRAE dust, and only and exclusively at a particle size of 0.4 micrometers. The loading with ASHRAE dust doesn't give really uh, data which are comparable to the real-life performance. Furthermore, the actual ambient aerosol contains much wider particle size range than only 0.4 micrometer. Therefore, the laboratory data today can be transferred to real life performance only to a very limited extent. Actually, not at all. According to the current EN779 standard, a filter could reach the required efficiency for, let's say, F7, uh, even if it starts at a very low initial efficiency and then increasing its efficiency by taking a lot of ASHRAE dust significantly. In real life, we don't see that increase. Actually, with ambient aerosol, the efficiency of a filter is more stable or slightly decreases. That is why, with the new ISO standard, we rate the filter without a synthetic dust loading. Furthermore, the new standard considers the entire particle size range from 0.3 to 10 micrometer, which will enable us to uh, evaluate a filter in the future in its efficiency to the fine dust fractions PM10, PM2.5 and PM1. For example, uh, we will rate a filter in the future as an ISO EPM10 80% filter, which means it takes out 80% of the PM10 fine dust fraction. So how will air filters be rated in the future according to this new standard? Will filter classes still exist at all? The new ISO standard will divide filters in four different groups. The prerequisite for each group is that a filter collects at a minimum 50% of the respective particle size. So for example, if a filter collects more than 50% of the PM1 fine dust fraction, it will be grouped as a PM1 filter. Together with the group name, we will report the respective filter efficiency. So in the future, we will talk about an ISO EPM1 55% filter, for example, which means that this filter takes out 55% of the PM1 fine dust fraction. The new ISO standard will also rate uh, cost dust filters. They will be grouped as ISO cores, and together with that, we will report the initial gravimetric arrestance to a synthetic test dust, the so-called AC fine dust. So let's take an example. How will an F7 filter be rated in the future? Unfortunately, this question cannot be answered precisely. As the new ISO standard evaluates different properties of an air filter than the current EN779. Filters classified today as F7 having the same efficiency for 0.4 micrometer particles might have totally different efficiencies to other particle sizes, let's say 1 micron or 10 micrometer. Consequently, these filters will be also rated differently with the new ISO standard. As a rule of thumb, most currently available F7 filters will be rated in the future as ISO EPM1 between 50 and 65%. But the customer can ask himself now whether PM1 is the right particle size fraction for him. For general heating and ventilation applications, PM10 might be the more relevant particle size fraction. And in this case, we can require an efficiency between 80 and 90 percent 
which most of the currently available F7 filters will fulfill, but also some of the filters which are rated M6 today. So what exactly does this mean for the customers, for the end users of air filters? Customers will be able to select filters in the future much more accurately for their application. Let's take an example. A customer can find the information on the PM10 finders concentration of the nearest measurement station on the website of the German Federal Environmental Agency, for example. Let's say uh, 35 micrograms per cubic meter on a yearly average. If the customer has an uh, ISO EPM10 80% filter that takes out 80% of the PM10 fine dust fraction, or let's 20% through, you can then calculate that the concentration behind the filter will be 7 micrograms per cubic meter. So with a new standard, the customer can estimate the fine dust concentration behind the filter, which is not possible with the current EN779. With F7, you cannot do any calculation. Will the filters also change? Will other new properties be needed to fulfill the new standard? The new ISO standard describes only a laboratory test method that evaluates filter differently than today. But that doesn't change the filter themselves. But I do expect that uh, as the customer is able now to select filters much more precisely for his application, that also requirements on the market might change over time. And that will lead to new filter developments that will meet these requirements much better than today. But that time will teach us so ask me that question in a few years again. So what is the time scale for the introduction of the new standard? I expect the new standard to be published in the second half of this year, latest to the end of 2016. And then there will be a transition period between the old and the new standard, which means that both standards will be valid at the same time. And EN779 then will be finally invalid by the middle of 2018. The market will need that time to adapt uh, with all the standards today that refer to EN779, so that time will be needed. If people have questions about the new standard, who can they contact? General information they can get from the International Standardization Organization, ISO, and I will be happy to answer questions under the email address ISO 16890 at freudenberg-filter.com. We also will publish uh, actual information on the new standard and update them regularly on our website at www.freudenberg-filter.com. Thank you so far, Dr. Thank C. Thank you very much.